and then Harry heard it. Rip, dare, kill. It was the same voice, the same cold, murderous voice he had heard in Lockhart's office. He stumbled to a halt, clutching at the stone wall, listening with all his might, looking around, squinting up and down the dimly lit passageway. Harry, what are you up? Shh, it's that voice again. Shut up a minute. So hungry. For so long. Listen, said Harry urgently, and Ron and Hermione froze watching him. Kill. Time to kill. The voice was growing fainter. Harry was sure it was moving away, moving upward. A mixture of fear and excitement gripped him as he stared at the dark ceiling. How could it be moving upward? Was it a phantom to whom no stone ceilings didn't matter? This way, he shouted and began to run up the stairs and into the entrance hall. It was no good hoping to hear anything here. The babble of talk from the Halloween feast was echoing through the great hall. Harry sprinted up the marble staircase to the first floor, Ron and Hermione cluttering behind him. Harry, what are we? Shh! Harry strained his ears distantly from the floor above and growing fainter still. I smell blood. I smell blood. His stomach lurched. It's going to kill someone, he shouted. And Ron and Hermione's bewildered faces. He ran up the next flight of stairs, three at a time, trying to listen over his pounding footsteps. Harry hurtled round the whole of the second floor, Ron and Hermione panting behind him, not stopping until they turned the, a corner into the last deserted passage. Harry, what's all this about? said Ron, wiping sweat from his face. I couldn't hear anything. But Hermione gave a sudden gasp, pointing down the corridor. <gasps> Look! Something was shining on the wall ahead. They approached slowly, squinting through the darkness. Foot-high words had been daubed on the wall behind two windows, shimmering in the light cast by the flaming torches. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. What's that thing hanging underneath? said Ron in a slight quiver in his voice. As they edged nearer, Harry almost slipped. There was a large puddle of water on the floor. Ron and Hermione grabbed him and they inched toward the message, eyes fixed on a dark shadow beneath it. All three of them realised what it was at once and leapt back with a splash. Mrs Norris the caretaker's cat was hanging by her tail from the torch bracket. She was stiff as a board and her eyes wide and staring. For a few seconds, they did not move. Then Ron said, let's get out of here. Sh shouldn't we try and help? Harry began awkwardly. Trust me, said Ron. We don't want to be found here. But it was too late. A rumble as though of distant thunder told them that the feast had just ended. From either side of the corridor where they stood came the sounds of hundreds of feet climbing the stairs and the loud, happy talk of well-fed people. Next moment, students were crashing into the passage from both ends. The chatter, the bustle, the noise died suddenly as the people in front spotted the hanging cat. Harry and Ron and Hermione stood alone in the middle of the corridor as
as silence fell among the mass of students pressing forward to see the grisly sight. Then someone shouted through the quiet, Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods! Thank you. That's the excerpt from Harry Potter, The Chamber of Secrets, Chapter 6.